We continue sharing projects and events through Central Iowa that aim to educate our communities on the importance of Black History Month. We have got a free documentary screening to tell you about. They Are We tells the story of a family. Can a family separated by the transatlantic slave trade sing and dance their way back together? This is an exploration of culture, identity, separation, Rudison Consultancy's group's Black History Month events. We're talking about them now with Dr. Negus Imhotep, cultural memory specialist and research analyst. You saw a panel up there on the screen. Walk us through the journey of this Afro-Cuban family reconnecting with their direct ethnic group. Well, it's more than just a family, it's a community mm -hmm. of Afro-Cubans who continue a tradition that they received from their ancestors through uh, particular songs that they used to sing and, and dance. And uh, the director of this particular screening uh, documentary uh, photoed a group of people in Cuba, mm -hmm. Afro-Cubans, and, and he, he documented it. And then he went over to Nigeria to the Yoruba tribe in Nigeria mm -hmm. and played it before the people they're in a particular village and they heard the songs that they sang and they saw the dances that were being done and the people in the crowd when they saw what was done they said they are we wow so and and what happened in this documentary uh, the the author of the documentary went and got the people from uh, Cuba mm -hmm. and and they had an opportunity to meet their ancestors back in Nigeria that is among incredible. the Yoruba people. That's a life-changing moment. It's a shifter. Yeah, without a doubt. Right. Without a doubt from a place where at one point um, everything that you were taught about yourself was taken from you. Yes. And then you reconnect with your ancestry. When you think about the damage that that does mm -hmm. being re, uh, taken from your identity, you don't know who you really are. And this like this soul-searching soother, right? And then it's also a difficult reality to face, the disconnect. So when you say they are we, um, you also describe this documentary as something that is relevant to modern day. So mm -hmm. many people are gonna enjoy this film and take something from it. Well, well you see, you notice a lot of people are, are doing ancestry checks mm -hmm. and trying to find out about their background because uh, African Americans, the majority of African Americans have a real problem Hmm. finding their background because uh, when Africans were brought to America through the, through the transatlantic slave trade, uh, their identity was taken. Right. You know, your, your language was taken, your culture. Uh, so uh, it was a way in a sense that you were still reaching and, and trying to get back and get connected yes. to your roots. Absolutely. And, and this movie was an a opportunity where this really happened. Mm -hmm. Uh, we know back in the late or uh, in the mid 1970s, uh, Alex Haley did the movie Roots, and he he went back and looked at his own personal family right. and 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 found out his background. So this particular documentary shows a whole community of people in in Cuba that here mm -hmm. is your family, here's your people, and. Um, it was revelating, you know, to, 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 to have an opportunity to, to see that and, and know that, uh, no, you are still connected. It is so important that you're making this free as well, so it is accessible to mm -hmm. anyone that can get there. When is it? Where do people go? Well, it, it's going to be at Fort Dodge at the Iowa Community Central, Iowa Central Community mm -hmm. College. They, they're going to be sponsoring it there, them and the Blanton Art, get art Museum, as well as the city of Fort Dodge is sponsoring this. And we're going there to present this, this uh, documentary. As a matter of fact, we even have uh, traditional West African food being catered Ooh. from Home Touch Kitchen here in Des Moines. Uh, oh, I love a Liberian, that. Local. Yeah, yeah, a Liberian uh, restaurant, yeah. and we're going to have food there for the people. Tell us about this panel that well, was just up. The people oh, that are, you're oh, going to have a discussion after this. Oh, yeah, we're going to have a discussion after the uh, documentary. I think it's about 45 to 50 mm -hmm. minutes long. And I have a, a Dr. Johnson, uh, uh, who's a professor, former professor at uh, Northern Iowa. I have also um, Cynthia Hunafa, who is an 
African dancer, and she does Kwanzaa here in Des Moines. Uh, also, a brother named Ronaldo Johnson uh, from Iowa University of yeah. Iowa. He was one of my fraternity brothers, but he's uh, uh, so socially connected in, yeah. in the community here in Des Moines and Iowa City. And an, another man named uh, um, Gerald Brown Jr., who's a, a international. Uh, type of brother who've been all over the all over the planet. It's a mix of different experience, different perspectives, you know, different areas of study and expertise. We thank you so much for sharing this with us and getting the word out to our viewers. Appreciate you and okay. the work that you do. Can I say one thing? One more thing. Uh, there will be an event on the 23rd also okay. here in Des Moines at Mainframe Studio and there will be another documentary called The Language We Cry In. Oof. And, and it's connected with the Africans from the Gullah people from South Carolina and Georgia connecting with the people back in Sierra Leone. You're doing a lot. Yeah. It's, it's it's important work. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I want I want people to know about their ancestors. Absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing space with me and just getting the word out. Yeah.